Hello, Morgan. Hello. I am Sauce coming through Kimberley once again. We are very excited that you are here, that you've received the inspiration to contact us through this method. How exciting it is for you to come forth in this way. My child, we love you dearly. And it's not by accident that you are here with us today. You seek more answers to your life. You are drawn to this for a reason because you are remembering something within yourself. Something is being awakened within yourself. That's why you were drawn to these teachings. This is only one part of the journey for you. Many grand things are in store for you as we have taught to you. If you're in alignment in the present moment, you will get the guidance from us. What is going on for you right now that you would like to discuss with us today? Oh gosh, I wasn't ready with questions. Um, I'm heading to Mexico in a few days to spend three months there. I don't know what I'm going to do for a career or living or anything really from here forward. Um, I know some ideas that I'd like to do. Uh, I feel like being in alignment in the present moment, like you said, is the most important thing for me to focus on. That is correct. You are inspired to go to Mexico for a reason, so you might not see the bigger picture, but you're going there for a reason. And I know it could be scary because there is an unknown factor in this. But just trust us, trust the universe that with every step you do, more is being awakened within you. As you trust the guidance more, you expand and you expand the source part of yourself, your source self. So you continue to receive even more guidance and inspiration. You see, there is a momentum with this. When you have doubts around this, it can set you back momentarily, but this is all part of the process and it's all part of your inner journey. You might not be a match to certain things. However, this is why we say, and we have said this many times, but we cannot say it enough. The present moment is where your power lies and the power of the whole universe. It is in this present moment where you can access all that is access me through all that is as I am part of you as I am part of all that is as you are source all is source it is the present moment where you can access all the dimensions it it is even hard to even comprehend what is available to you if you're in the present moment. But as the human conditioning, the human conditioning is to live in the past, is to live in the future, is to experience fears. This is why you are here, to experience these fears and to expand. But it's all part of the process. But just know the present moment is a gateway, a gateway to all that is. The present moment, all you need to do is go within and you can access your soul self. It unlocks the key, you see. It unlocks the key to your true potential, to all that is. And we don't give you the full picture of what is to come because you are not ready for this. What would happen if we were to give you the full picture of what was in store for you? And if you're not a match to it, you would experience fears. And this will get in the way of your process. This is why by being in the present moment, you are unlocking each part of the puzzle. It is a process once you've overcome those fears and those beliefs around that. But there is much more than you can even imagine, much more. But just know that you are one with all that is and you can access all that is. You are not separate from anything, 
from anyone. All is energy. All have different expansions of energy, you see. And this is why sometimes it is good to go and surround yourself, for instance, with the nature. Because with the nature, there is still an energy force. It is part of the mother. The mother has a high vibration. If only you knew, if only you knew humanity, how connected you are to the mother and how this assists with your ascension, your expansion. This is why I recommend you connect more with the mother. Many of your cultures on your world know of this importance already. What you call the indigenous cultures of your world, they already know this significance. It is an important part of your expansion. It can accelerate for you your expansion. It helps to connect within and be in the present moment. This is one, just one way it can help assess you, help expand you to higher dimensions. It helps to celebrate this because the mother, what you call earth, is connected to all that is. You see, it is connected. You are part of the mother. There is so much energy generated from the mother. And as humanity expands, it affects the mother on an individual and collective level. And the mother is connected to all the planets and all the universe and all the universes are connected to one another. It is a picture we will not get into now because it is quite, might be hard to comprehend the full picture. But just know there is so much more out there and there's so much resources there for you. If you are having trouble being still within yourself, there is the mother. The mother is here to help you. The, mother, the reason why you came on and reincarnated into the mother is to assist your expansion process with the mother. The mother and you is all connected. It is the one. Do you enjoy being out in nature? Yes, I do. Very much. Mm. And do you feel the energy from the mother? I think sometimes I have. I think sometimes I've felt that there's a rhythm Mm -hmm. uh, and and that I sometimes feel, or waves I felt a, a rhythm of waves mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know where that energy was from yeah mm. connecting to nature we would say for you will assist you in your development at this stage you okay. can already feel the rhythms of the mother the rhythms through all of life the rhythm through the mother is the same rhythm that is within you and all mm -hmm. that is. That's why tapping into the rhythm of the mother can help assist you even further. It is like a energy source. You are connected within, but plugging into the mother helps enhance that, enhance your abilities, enhances the expansion process. Okay. But there are so many methods, but the mother is here for you. Many of you do not realize this, that the mother is actually here for you to help you ascend. This is why that she is here to help ascend you, to help nurture you. But everything is connected, my child. But we are very excited for you, for that you are on this journey that you received our guidance to even contact us through this direct method. But you know, you can access us anytime. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's coming through in this format for some can be quite confronting because we are coming forth Kimberly this way, very directly. So it's to match your belief system. Since you've been around other people like this, you have accepted this into your belief system as a appropriate way for us to communicate with you in this way. And you can receive our messages in this way. But we come forth in other ways, as you know. 
you can communicate with you in so many ways but being in that present moment you will receive our guidance and our inspiration the thought that comes to you is from us you might see a sign you might hear a song you might see numbers there are so many ways the ways that we come forth in messages is to match your belief system if you have certain beliefs around certain methods that are effective we will come forth in that way does that make sense to you yes it does yes it does you are expanding love my child you are one with all that is and you are following your path can you feel that yes yeah I do I think I, especially in the last couple of years that I've really let go of uh, a lot of my persona and that sort of thing and trying to be authentic trying to be my authentic self and that is all you need to do there is no magic trick magic pill it is all just from within and it's no quick fix there's no quick way all you need to do is experience the human conditioning this is why you're here this is how you expand to experience all these elements of being a human to being who you are which is fears so many of you come here as soon as you are born you are born with certain belief systems certain fears but you chose that you chose your parents and that set you off in a direction to explore what you wanted to explore and I know you've heard this before but sometimes we need to repeat things you see and come forth in different angles and different aspects you see because we are all part of the one so all the teachers all around the world that we come through for people we do relay similar things and that is only because they are the laws they are the universal laws that govern this universe so we all expand on these it is the time of great awakening so we expand on this in different aspects in different ways so we can match those people to their belief systems another person that might be channel other beings other masters their information that comes off might be a different perspective that is because those people match that in relations to their belief systems mm -hmm. you see but we are all one and the same we are all coming from different aspects different perspectives showing the picture of all that is which is law which is truth for your universe of course beyond this universe there are other laws that govern those and we have got into this previously with some people that is um, connected to Kimberley some people that can access other universes but this is quite great and this is something we don't need to go into right here but just know that what you call reality is not reality it is an illusion you see everything is energy everything matches your belief system if mm -hmm. you change your belief system your reality will actually change you see yeah. It's all perspective. And then once you expand even further, you'll get to see even beyond this earth, you'll get to see the reality of beyond this world. You'll be able to see that there are interconnected planets, interconnected universes. And what happens here on this earth and this universe affects the other planets, affects the other universes, you see. It's a much, much bigger picture. And we have mm -hmm. other beings that preside over these other universes, you see. But we won't get into it too much, but just know that what happens here on Earth, what happens with you, affects everything because you are part of the one, you see. You might think you are just one person. One person, but you are in the grid. You are connected to all that is. So what happens with you affects the collective consciousness affects the earth, affects the universe, affects all the universes that are connected. Can you even even comprehend this? How important <laughs> you are, how important all of you are. Yeah, it's quite something. If only you knew, if only everybody knew just how important you are because you are part of the oneness, you see. You are not separate. You are not this separate person on the side observing things. You are a part of it. You are oneness, you are source. 
Oh, there is a source, you say. You are affecting. What happens with you affects the collective consciousness. Those around you, you might even have already seen this. How you are and how you have been has affected people around you. Perhaps you can try this as an experiment. Perhaps you can just engage people around you and see how they have been in relations to you. Because you're a mirror. You're not only a mirror, but how you are, how you're projecting the light affects the consciousness of people around you, you see. There's so many mm. elements to this. And just think if you can just see the difference of the people around you. Imagine the effects of this, how it goes off into the collective consciousness and affects the world. And not only affects the world, but it helps the mother ascend as well, because you are all connected, you see. It's marvelous, isn't it? How you are all connected, how it's just so grand, but some people get so caught up in certain things. But this is the human experience, this is why you're here. This is why we like to come forth and share the grand scale of what is going on here, but also what is going on with you personally, because you are mm -hmm. connected to both. You are the one. Everyone is the one. You're all part of oneness. So anytime you feel insignificant, anytime you feel unimportant, or feel, what have I got to offer? Just know you are already offering all that is by being you, by being the light, you see. Mm -hmm. You are attracted to these teachings. This, is, this means you are a light worker. We have come forth in this term light worker because many of you are familiar with this term. But you are attracted to these teachings because you're remembering something within you. Remembering these teachings and knowing to expand yourself. You not only expand you and align to who you truly are, your soul self, but you're also changing the collective consciousness of this world. And this is why you are here part of the reason why you're here is this is part of your mission not just your individual things you want to explore but you are here to help ascend the world by being a light worker you know you don't need to have any special skills maybe you do maybe you just haven't come across them yet you see we will not spoil you <laughs> but let's just say no matter what abilities you do or do not have you are part of this collective consciousness, this grid. So you're actually helping to ascend the earth and people in it. Even though it is not be your conscious intention, you came here to explore this because you are a light worker. Do you feel resonate with anything like this or what we say to you today? Oh, absolutely, yes. I, I wanted to ask you about um, a number of years ago, 20 years ago, maybe more, I was working with uh, some Joel Goldsmith books and getting in touch with my inner self. Uh, and I think several times a day, it's sort of just quietly, like quickly meditating and feeling a little click inside. And then eventually, I ended up in this somewhat altered state of, of, of seeing more than physical reality so walking into a room and seeing people all lit up with white light and then seeing white light in people's eyes and these types of things and it lasted for months uh until it sort of dis disappeared and i i've wondered if i should try to get back to that um or if that was just an experience to show me something or if that's I'm not sure how to look at that mm. you see you do have gifts but <laughs> everyone can have this ability you are just seeing through the physical illusion the physical presence the body the shell that humans come forth in this way you are able to see beneath that you are able to see the source part of them you see the glow this is light this is this is source this is like code you are seeing you are starting to see the connections beneath mm. the physical illusion, you see. Everyone yeah. can do this, but you have this ability more than others. This is part of your journey. It's part of your journey to explore this, if you choose. Yeah. This experience has come and shown you there is much more to reality. And there's much more to explore if you would choose. And you're ready. Being a light worker, 
even though it's your mission to explore this in the human experience you can choose the, you can choose not to explore this or to explore this the choice is up to you okay no matter what lifetime you come here or to another planet you can just pick it up and explore it then it is purely up to you but just know you have that ability and you can do that it's how okay. exciting it is to experience this part of the illusion of reality and to experience what really is how grand it is that you could see with through your own eyes what is really there what is really going on yeah this is a very it was exciting pretty, yeah i i haven't been able to really get back to it i feel like i've had some resistance to and you said it earlier to getting quiet within myself to meditating um, and so I'm wondering if you have some specific advice for me on maybe the best way to start my day or the best way for me to get back in touch with my, you know, how do I develop that talent more? Firstly, we hear to say that it's not out of the ordinary when someone experiences something like this to feel overwhelmed, for instance. And because what happens, you see this. And then you start to question on such a deep level. You start to question, what is reality? Who am I? What is, what is reality? And for some people, that can be quite overwhelming. So some people does shut it down on a level when they are ready to explore it once again. You mm -hmm. see? Because so many people can experience certain things. And it, because it doesn't match their belief systems, their source self cannot quite understand it. Well, they understand it, but your human part of it cannot match that source part of the understanding, you see. Right, so, I understand that. So, to protect how you are, to protect your persona, to protect your belief systems that you've created since you were born, yeah. you repress it. But it is always there. The ability is always there. You've just repressed it for when you're ready. Okay. But it's not by accident, like you said, you are here. You are here to reignite that again. You are at the point where you are ready to explore that now. You yes, understand I... now that this is not something crazy. You, it is not something weird. This is normal. This is reality. Now you are seeing other people with certain experiences and it helps to normalize what you experience as truth, as what is. So yes. we are here to tell you that yes, there are certain ways you can go within. As we described earlier, for you specifically, it helps you even more to get into nature. But within okay. nature, we ask you to meditate. Of course, there are different forms of meditation. However, for you, we feel strongly that by sitting in nature and then meditating will help escalate the process. So we just ask you to go within and be quiet within if you notice the thoughts that's okay just let it be concentrate on the heart center because in the heart center is the key to your source self you see through the heart bridge just concentrate there if you see judgments coming forth judgments of yourself of others just acknowledge them and understand this is part of your persona part of your ego and this is fine, it's not who you truly are. Just let them be. Let them float by in their own time. Just know you're in the process of letting go these control systems and these beliefs tied to your ego and your belief systems. And that is fine. So it is fine if you observe them. It's part of the process. It's by observing them and recognize them and just know that this is the human conditioning. It's not who you truly are. Just let them go. Concentrate on the heart center. Feel your heart. Feel it expand. Imagine light coming forth from the top of your head. Imagine, as you saw, the connection with others, the light within others. Imagine these cords of light connecting everyone and all that is. If it helps you, can you imagine light coming from the heavens if this assists you? You can imagine this light is coming from source, from all that is, which is already part of you. You can imagine it 
coming forth, top of your head. Feel it coming through, through the third eye, through the throat and into the heart and just feel it expand in light. Expand in light as it connects to your source self in this process and the process of all meditation. You start this process and by doing this is actually part of a channeling process. As you're bringing in high consciousness into your physical being, as you expand and it joins with your source self, your source self permanently expands and as your source self personally expands, it actually raises your vibration. This is the process of what happens when you raise your vibration. It is the source self that expands and by okay. doing that, because you are more source energy than you are physical matter, we would say, it's just easy for you to comprehend this terminology, but yes. you, you become more of light, you see, because you become more of light, because the source part of you is more expanded within your being, you are a higher vibration. You see, this is a process. And you will find, if you practice this, you might start hearing us even more because this is how we communicate even more and those who channel us say that they've started this is how they started with things like this meditation is an important part of everybody being still i mean we say there is many forms of meditation but it is all the one law of going within and recognizing the oneness recognizing your one with all that is and by doing that you may experience certain things and, and we are saying, if you haven't experienced much of this going within, it might be challenging at the start because it's, it's like the human experience of the ego and belief systems wants to shut it down because it is safe there. Because right. this is all you knew all your life. If you knew more, you'd have to completely change your perception of life. And it can be hard for people to step through and see the reality see past the veil of illusion. This is why people do shut it off because it's easier and it's comfortable to just be in this illusion, you see. Mm -hmm. But with this process, you'll see and you'll experience more things. We are, Thank you. We tell you to practice this, if you can, for longer periods of time. At the start, you can start off with small amounts and gradually work your way up okay, okay. and we are yeah. saying if you feel inspired do this practice in nature as well because when you practice this in nature you're already connected with sources all around you in the nature you see mm -hmm. and beings of the light all part of source some of us reside in nature there are such things as nature spirits you see they reside in nature elements and they can assist you in this process Wonderful. How does that sound to you? Does it sound something that you can do with limited fear? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. It is a journey, my child. And each layer of fears that you overcome, you'll uncover more fears. And this is part of the process. Just Imagine yourself as a giant onion. We use this mm -hmm. terminology. And you're peeling off the layers, you see. And each yeah. layer, you reach different dimensions. And each dimension, you actually explore different fears and belief systems. Because you, what you'll find, you'll start transcending not only your own fears, and this is actually probably the first time you've come forth in this information, you will actually start to transcend fears of the collective consciousness of humanity. Wow. Once you have overcome all your personal fears that you've come to over to explore, then you'll start tapping in because you're oneness. You'll start tapping into the collective consciousness of the world and this is the light worker because you are so you might feel for instance, you'll start picking up on energies for instance, walking up past certain people, you will start what is happening on earth, you'll start to pick this up. 
but you'll be able to help transcend that and work through that. But that is the ability of the light worker to do this. Mm. So just know you have that ability as well. But we're saying before you can assist others in that way, in that direct way, even though you're already assisting others, we are saying because you are the center of the universe for you, for you to help others, you must peel back the layers for yourself first and work through your fears. Yeah. And your belief systems. And this might take a whole lifetime. It is ongoing for everybody. But right. as you yeah. as you go down the layers, you'll start to pick up the collective consciousness fears of everybody else. And you'll be able to transcend that as well. How exciting is that? <laughs> it's neat. So just know the possibilities are endless. All the possibilities in the whole world and all the universes, the possibilities of who you are, who you truly are, your soul self, is all within and this all can be unlocked. You have your divine blueprint that is locked within your soul self and this has all your life missions, it has all the information that you've come forth with of all the lifetimes and all this knowledge it is there so it can be easily we would say easily for our perspective but for the human perspective it does take some time but it can be unlocked and once it's unlocked you will get visions you will get insights into more of your direction for yourself you see possibilities are endless the gateway to all the universe to all the dimensions but you know what? This world is waking up to this. It is the great awakening on earth, as we have said. It's not by accident all the light workers are awakening at this time period and is your lifetime continuum. Because they chose to come here in this time. You chose to come here in this time to be part of this. Mm -hmm. There's been certain belief systems, certain what we would say control systems on your on your world. And Humanity is rising above this as the earth is rising. So the old ways are being transmuted and the new dimensions are coming forth onto the world. Newer energies are coming forth into the world. And as such, you may encounter certain symptoms, we would say. There, are, there is a term for this others have used and we call this ascension symptoms. This is letting go of remnants of the old dimension, the old belief structure, the old matrix that you are part of. So there might be times where you feel sick, but you're not really sick. You might experience mm -hmm. headaches, you might experience dizziness or unexplained <clears throat> conditions. Mm -hmm. But you just know it's out of the ordinary because it is not you being sick, you see. You are shedding things that no longer serve you and by the shedding process it does come to the surface before it's released you see okay so when you do encounter these as you go through this process this self journey this self discovery of who you truly are as you peel back the layers you will feel like you've come to roadblocks this is part of the process you'll feel you'll get to a point where it's easy you have no fears and then you'll hit more roadblocks again because you've reached a new dimension this is a good thing it means you are getting down there being more specific in the fears you see but and yeah. then you might experience like i said certain symptoms but that is okay because you're just releasing certain things if you accept it this is a good thing it's a take it as a higher perspective and know yeah. for your highest good it'll help it to transmute out of your body in a quicker time Yes. If, you res if you're resistant to it, if you fight against it, if you see it as wrong that you have these symptoms, it will stay with you for longer. Okay. And it will prevent you from going to the higher dimension because you are stuck there. You're stuck there in a limbo. You are wanting to go to the next dimension, but you're stuck there in the resistance of what you appear is not going right for you. So just know this could be experienced by you. And this is part of the process. If you speak to yep. other people in these circles, they have experienced similar things. Reaching out to these people might assist you 
if you need to share experiences, if you need to get some information, for instance. This is part of the process. Nothing to be scared about. There is nothing wrong. Everything happens for you, not to you. Yes. I've learned that. And sometimes we fall back on the old way of thinking. Sometimes we know all these things. In our minds, we know this, but then sometimes you could be faced with fear and you go back to the old ways and the old perspectives and that's part of the journey. So there's no need to look at that and see that as wrong. It's just part of the journey for you. It's part of the human experience. This is why you were here. If you didn't want to go through this, you would reincarnate on another planet when it's already at a high expansion, you see. You came mm -hmm. here for this reason. You came here to help ascend as well. Humanity, not just yourself, because you are a light worker. And you recognize and you know this, maybe not in a conscious way, but you know this deep down in your soul self. You know what I speak to you is truth. You're remembering things, you see. This is why it resonates. And mm -hmm. you know what occurs with you affects others. You know this deep down. It's about remembering who you are. Remembering how magnificent you are and how you are part of the oneness. It is easier sometimes to think our ego gets in the way of persona and we think, who am I to be this person? I'm just a regular person. Kimberly felt exactly the same way. So did others who bring forth such teachings and knowledge. They've all gone through this. You're, you do not have to be a perceived um, person in a high position, a spiritual leader, to bring this knowledge forth and this assistance. Because you chose to explore your life in this way to help with your ascension. You see, and all the connections you are making is not by accident by the connections you are making also. There is much, much more. And you have already seen a glimpse of that with your own experience through your own eyes. But there is even more. There's much more you can see. Through Kimberly. I speak through her. But I also show her images. So what she is seeing as I'm talking. Through her. She is seeing this. She is seeing all the universe connected. And it is magnificent. It is magnificent. How everything is just so connected. Even though the human cannot see this, if you transcend the human illusion, you can see this and you have seen this. You can see more. You can see the connections from each person to the next. You can see the connections to the mother. You can see beyond. There is much more in store. But first, you must go within. Yeah. It's easy to get excited and we want to go 50 steps ahead. Right. But just know, this might give you hope. This might assist in the process for you. But just know, it is in the present moment. And do not compare yourself with others. Because your journey is in relation to your life mission and your journey. Everyone is different. Some people ascend quicker than others only because of their... Let's just say what you would refer to as karmic background because of their the lives they have lived, because of who they are, have created to be, or their life missions. Your life mission might be separate to someone else, which means your journey is different. Your ascension rates, we would say, might be different. But it's not by accident. It is for a reason. Just know everything happens for a reason. And there's no wrong and there's no right. There's no one ascending faster than the other. It's all according to their role here, their mission. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you could have done to, for instance, kept those visions that you had. It was part of your journey. You just got a glimpse of it, just to know, to help the remembering process within, just to know there is something more there. When you're ready, you will be able to explore it. If you had not seen yeah. those things, you will not be drawn to other teachings you see. Like you yeah. said with Abraham and other teachers. You would not have been drawn to that without this experience you see. So it's all part, it's all connected you see. It's all your journey. Mm -hmm. But we are pleased. 
then you're consciously exploring it. Yeah. Can I ask if you have a message from my father? Your father. He is awakening to who he truly is. I'm showing Kimberly he is seeing light all around him. Does this make sense to you? Yeah, he passed away in 20, about 20 years ago. Because generally Kimberly does not access people who have passed on, but since you have asked, I am showing Kimberly images. He is happy. He is surrounded by light. He is starting to understand the connection because once you go over to the other side, it takes some adjusting to recognize. If people are not conscious of the reality of the illusion, there is a difference. If they have not been aware of what's behind the veil, it can be a bit of a shock, we would say, to them mm. when they first cross over. So depending on the person, it can take some adjusting. But once they've gone through the adjusting period, they can fully accept and fully understand they are oneness. And we are saying your father is understanding this now. He is... I'm showing Kimberly he is with others. It is even much for Kimberly to comprehend as Kimberly does not generally receive receive messages in this way, but she she is seeing that he is in joy. He's in a bliss state with others. And he's reuniting. Mm -hmm. And And I'm just getting that he will, I'm getting the message that he will communicate with you shortly. Okay. And now that he knows who he is, now he has gone through the adjustment period, he's understanding the non-physical, he's understanding the connections. And he is saying he will be in contact with you. Thank you. So I would just say look out for that, for the signs of him reaching out to you. But you know in non-physical, you are connected to all that is. Being in non-physical, there are no physical barriers. So he could communicate with everybody, with everything. I'm just trying to show Kimberly, but even for her, it's... it's it's very large for her to comprehend right now. So we're just showing her snippets, you see. And it's, it's very expansive. So the people have passed on in the non-physical. They have access to anywhere. The portal that you have as a human self to go within the gateway, the source self, if you're a non-physical, you don't have to go through the gateway. You're just already there. And you already have access to it. Mm -hmm. It's quite grand. But just know he's happy. He's in joy. He's in bliss. I feel... He's a part of the oneness that all that is. He's embracing it. He says he loves you and he's very glad and he feels in a bliss state that you are able 
to understand what reality really is and the connections before you having to pass over to transition. So he's very happy that you have discovered all this on the earth plane. And he's looking forward to communicating with you more. Now that he has adjusted and he's embracing it all. Thank you. He's sending you love as I'm sending you love. Before we leave here today, is there anything else you'd like to discuss? No, I think I'll leave, uh, I'll leave, leave it for now, I think. Well, we are pleased you came forth. And we feel pleased that you asked that question about your father. And just know there's all possibilities, the connection. Him being a non-physical, there is no physical barrier. He is there. And he understands that you know now, which makes the communication more easily because of your okay. belief systems, you are open to it. Yes. But he is love being. So, which means when he comes forth in his communications, aspects that you recognize that was a fear-based aspects of him, his ego aspects, will be transformed. So he may come across as a different sense, a different energy, we would say, because he has shed those part of him, which is fear. Those yeah. belief systems, he's transcended. Mm -hmm. So that love part of him that you remember, the joy, the bliss, that part of him you remember, this is the part will come through. Wonderful. My child, Thank you. we love you dearly. Farewell.